Fashion rule number three, tattoos are not for everybody. When I was a kid, the only people that had tattoos were old guys that had been in the Navy. You know, and theirs were kind of blurry and faded. You couldn't even tell what they were. You're staring at it going, well, it's either a naked woman or Willie Nelson using post hole diggers. I <laughs> But it was the old Navy guys and, and, and Hell's Angels. But they had the scary tattoos, you know, like on their knuckles, like love and hate. My cousin had that, and then one summer he got a job in the carnival, and he got his pinky chopped off. Now his hands say love hat. <laughs> Ooh, that's intimidating. <laughs> and I don't have anything against tattoos. I, I don't have one myself. If I did, it, it would be right there next to my watch. It would say your wife's birthday is August 2nd. <laughs> Your anniversary September 18th. Don't let Ron White drive your car again. You know. <laughs> so. All I'm saying with tattoos is you have to plan ahead just a little bit. You know, because I think a lot of tattoos are cool when you're young and your skin is taunt. But as you get older, that skin's going to start sagging. You know, ladies like that, that little hummingbird. It's real cute when you're 20. But that bird is going to fly south for the winter. <laughs> and 20 years down the road, you don't want your grandkids crying, going, I don't want to stay with Grandma. She's got a buzzard on her back. Because <laughs> when that skin starts sagging, suddenly that dolphin is a beluga whale. <laughs> and that rose is Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> with a mouthful of leaves. And something else to think about. You know, it's going to be real hard for your kids to take you seriously when you tell them, say no to drugs, and you got a pot plant tattooed to your neck. <laughs> Fashion rule number four. If you've given birth more than five times, a tank top is not an acceptable substitute for a bra. There was this lady at the book signing, and I don't know what had happened to her to cause this particular breast configuration, but she had one under each arm. She looked like a watermelon delivery boy. <laughs> Tank tops aren't good on anybody, especially those low-cut ones. You know, if your skin is the color of Cool Whip and you have a mole that looks like an oatmeal pie, let that be your little secret. <laughs> Guys, if you have back titties, <laughs> I didn't know if you would know what I was talking about there. You, the kind of guys are walking through the mall and nursing babies are going num num, num num. <laughs> Also, if your back's so hairy, you've been shot more than twice with a tranquilizer gun. <laughs> Say yes to sleeves. <laughs> I hope Larry is listening to some of this. <laughs> Fashion rule number five. It is okay to wear a T-shirt with nothing written on it. I don't know what it is about rednecks. We never have to write a resume because you can learn everything you want to know about us by reading our clothes. <laughs> you give me a redneck man's t-shirt drawer, I can tell you what kind of truck he drives, what radio station he listens to, who he roots for in NASCAR, what he likes to hunt, who his favorite college football team is, his philosophy on life, and where he went on vacation the last 21 summers. <laughs> And you give me his windbreaker, I'll tell you what kind of cigarettes he smokes. <laughs> also with t-shirts, guys, if you weigh more than 400 pounds, it's not okay to wear a t-shirt that says, no fat chicks. <laughs> you ought to be wearing one that says, I whipped anorexia's ass. <laughs> and do not wear an I'm with stupid t-shirt if you're by yourself. <laughs> If you do, well, I'd say that's right. <laughs> Fashion rule number six. 
God invented closed-toed shoes for a reason. Why is it the people with the nastiest feet always wear flip-flops? You know what I'm talking about? If you have so many corns, you have to put up a scarecrow. <laughs> Say no to the flip-flop. If your toenails are so long, you can swoop down on a lake and catch a trout. <laughs> Say no to the flip-flop. If you have a toenail that's three different colors and none of them are nail polish, <laughs> say no to the flip-flop. My next fashion rule, and this is for some of you younger folks out there, if your mother still drives you to school, you ain't no gangster, pull your pants up. <laughs> The back pockets of your pants should not be behind your knees. And I don't know why I have to look at the underwear of every teenage boy in America. You know, when I was in school, if other people could see your underwear, it was because two bullies had cornered you on the playground and had yanked it up to your neck. Which is why, as adults, most men won't even consider wearing a thong because those are memories we're trying to repress. <laughs> and my last fashion rule, Husbands and wives should never dress alike unless you're going to a Garth Brooks concert or a Halloween party. <laughs>